personally find self-care difficult and I, I don't know how I feel about the term. As an autistic adhd -er, self-care is complicated. What other people see as self-care, I see as tasks. So we're not going to be doing the typical like skincare, hair care, I don't know, painting your nails, that kind of stuff like that is typically associated with self-care. It's not for me. <laughs> so we started off with time on TikTok. That is self-care for me. That is a time where I literally, my brain shuts off. I don't overthink everything. I'm just watching the silly little TikToks. Apparently I ended up on supernatural side of TikTok tonight. Nearly every other one was like Dean and Sam at a convention. So apparently I'm, su I'm on supernatural side of TikTok currently. But we had a little, I feel like with self-care with autistic people or ADHD is you've got to have certain things in there and you've got to kind of pick which one you're doing. Cause I feel like the self-care in the way of like just letting your brain to use a trendy term rot and like having your little rot time. But then other self-care is actually getting off TikTok and doing the thing that's good for you. So I feel like I'm combining a little bit of both in there. I had my TikTok time, I had my rotten time and then I've been in the bath. I feel like baths are easier for me to deal with like hygiene issues. Like the shower I find really, really hard because if I'm not washing my hair, I feel like my hair gets disgusting anyway. I don't know if anybody else agrees with that that has long hair or maybe thick hair. But like even if I'm not washing my hair, the heat, like the humidity feels like it's making my hair disgusting anyway. So I struggle with that and I just struggle with like the feeling of the water like beating down on me. So I feel like baths are way more easier hygiene things for me. So I've had a bath and then I can make it cute and cozy and I can make it more like stereotypical self-care. I've put some candles on, I've read. That's self-care, right? But I had a cute little bath bomb. I've read for a bit. I put my deep focus music on. And I'm gonna carry on with the trying to stay off TikTok kind of vein. Because even though I love TikTok, sometimes it does make me feel worse, especially when I've had a rough time of something. Like if I see a TikTok of that type of theme of thing, I'll just get upset. So I'm going to stay off TikTok. I think I'm going to put the TV on because this is the thing, right? I know I feel like self-care vlogs are always actually productive vlogs. My brain, self-care isn't being productive for me. Apart from I have been productive earlier in the day, so now I feel like I can just sit. And watch TV. I've had a good productive day today. I've been for my physio assessment to possibly get an MRI which is exciting. I went and booked my hair appointment at my new hairdressers which is scary. It's scary. So I'm proud of myself for doing that. I did have a look around Superdrug to see if I could pick up any little like bits that would be like a bit of a self-care type thing. Couldn't find anything. I actually bumped into somebody who used to work at the gym and we actually didn't get to say goodbye when he left the gym. So I went for a coffee with him because we were both just like not milling about in town, but a little milling about. And even and before I went for my physio, I did work this morning. Like I did quite a bit of YouTube work. So I've been productive today, which means I kind of shut my brain down, which is nice. So I've just chucked some clothes on. I've got Jack's top on, oversized. Beautiful. My disgusting old joggers, but they're comfy. And I think I'm gonna watch Grey's Anatomy. I want to do something whilst I am watching the TV because I, I just can't, I can't, I can't just watch TV. It stresses me out. I was gonna colour in, but Jack didn't. <sighs> this is pathetic. I don't even know if it's gonna make the vlog, but I have like a bag, like a tote bag where I've got like my colouring in books and my pens, but the bag is in the corner of the room that I've seen webs about. So I'm really, really scared of this bag and I don't want to touch it because I'm scared spiders are going to get me. But I did think colouring in might be a good thing to do whilst I'm watching Grey's. So I'll go check what I think of this bag looks like and maybe not. Maybe I'll have to think of something else. I can't. I, I don't trust that bag. It's got webs on it. So I'm just going to chuck Grey's on for now. I think Jack's on the way back from the gym. So then he can um, fight the spiders for me. So I'm just going to chuck Grey's on for now and then we can colour in a little bit later. I didn't have much time to watch Grey's because... Jack's back yeah. and he's brought a feast with him for tea. We messed up with their uh, chicken difference sometimes, so we're having a cute, cutesy meal which aligns with the self-care. So Jack bought a roast chicken that we still have some at Morrison's. The juice. Oh, vegetable crisps. Yeah, but we'll both like them. Be fighting over the meaty ones. I was going to say, I like the beetroot ones. Yeah, I like the beetroot ones. Too. I, I was going to say if they change the colour. I must have done that in the car. Bread. What? The bread. Yeah. Because it wasn't attractive. Oh, I just love bread. I love bread so much. Olives. olives. Italian olives. We'll have to see whether I like them. I'm a Spanish olive kind of gal. Red Fox Crunchy Red Leicester. Yeah. Crunchy? Yeah. I don't know what that means. But what though? Cheese. It's just crunchy cheese. What, like, so like hard? Yeah. 
off cheese. It's not off cheese, it's just <laughs> hardened cheese. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to try and get some more chicken off the bone because Jack's terrible at it. So we'll create our feast and I'll get back to you. Look at this. This is like, oh, beautiful, beautiful meal for me. I'm buzzing. Proper uh, self-care type yeah. meal. I love it. I love, oh, I'm excited. My camera is about to die, but we are going to watch House of the Dragon. We have just start, done a rewatch of season one and then the trailer literally dropped as we were doing it, which was quite meant to be. I forgot how much I enjoyed watching it. I really do enjoy House of the Dragon. Obviously it has its flaws, but I enjoy watching it and we are on the last episode tonight. So it's timed out quite well for this little, like, cute little self-care night. We also love having something to watch when we have our tea. I know it's a bit of a controversial topic, but we love watching stuff when we're having tea and having that, watching it together. And then we always end up chatting about it like after and when we go to bed and stuff. So I love this part of the night. And it is part of the routine. So it's not like I'm going completely off routine for this cute little night. <laughs> Hello everyone, coming at you a few days later, even though I am in the same top, used it as a pump cover today. I, uh, if you can excuse the look of me. <laughs> Ever since I filmed that video, me and Jack have kind of just went downhill. <laughs> Jack's been off work because he's so achy and tired and I don't know if you can see from that far back, but I have a situation occurring. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like our bodies have just went, you've been stressed for two weeks. Let me show you. <laughs> so that cute little night was needed. I don't think, well, hopefully it helped <laughs> and we would have been worse if we hadn't have had it, but it was needed. We finished House of the Dragon. I am very much looking forward to season two. I am excited for it. Very tempted to read the book, but I, I, I love the show. So I kind of don't want to spoil it too much for myself. We then just watched an episode of Merlin because we started rewatching Merlin as well. And then it wasn't quite time for bed. So we watched like an episode of Merlin and then we literally just went to bed. We were both knackered. Like I say, we've been feeling very tired, <laughs> but this is going to be the last bad week. This is going to be the last off week. I've decided we're going to tell our bodies where to go. This is going to be gone. <laughs> Jack's gonna be better. This is gonna be the last bad week. After this week, it's done. It's over. We're gonna be happy. We're gonna be new people. And that's gonna reflect in my YouTube consistency because it's been rubbish the last month and a half. And I do apologize for that. It is gonna get better from next week. I'm not entirely sure about Sunday's upload at this point because like I say, I have a situation developing and Jack isn't very well. So I'm not sure about Sunday, but from next week, we're back on it. We're we're getting there. On that vein, obviously this is a, a very short video for me. If anybody could give me any feedback as to whether they prefer short videos like this or my usual long form like 30 minute mark or even like an hour mark because I used to do like an hour videos. If everyone can let me know what they like, that would be great. And then I can make videos that you want to see. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you could like, subscribe, share, comment, all the good stuff, send some positive vibes and manifestations for us to feel better that would be that would be perfect but even if you don't do any of that thank you so much for watching and i shall hopefully see you in another video